the subjects were political prisoners captured during World War II, and before starting the experiment, they were told that at the end of 30 days, the survivor would be freed. The purpose of the experiment was to determine how long a person could go without sleep and what effect it would have on them. There was enough food and water in the room for five people for a month. In addition, the room was constantly supplied with stimulating gas and oxygen to keep the subjects awake. Everything went well for the first five days, but then things would change. The prisoners stopped talking to each other and started whispering into microphones. After nine days, one subject started screaming and continued to do so for hours. Then the screens of the second subject were heard. The other three subjects covered the small observation windows with pages of books while whispering into the microphones. Then the screams stopped completely. This silence lasted for days when the researchers finally decided to enter the room to see what was going on. They were told, we don't want to be free anymore. When the authorities decided to end the experiment, they entered and found a horrible scene. One of the subjects was dead. The floor was covered in blood. The food was almost untouched, and the others were, so to speak, he humanized. Their skin was torn to shreds, and their internal organs were visible. The authorities, recovering from the shock, tried to get them out, but they refused. During this struggle, one of the soldiers and one of the subjects died. While another soldier had his testicles ripped off, the three survivors were taken to medical centers and tried to be treated, but they all wanted to stay awake and insisted on receiving more stimulant gas. One of the subjects fell asleep days later, under anesthesia and never woke up. Another subject smiled several times during surgery, and one of the nurses keep cutting that. Despite all this, the military official ordered the researchers to lock the two subjects back in the room and was shot by the researcher he ordered, thinking that this experiment had already exceeded its purpose. The researcher then killed the subjects but before killing this subject who could still speak, he did not neglect to ask him what had happened. The answer you received from the subject, starting with did you forget so easily, we are you was as frightening as the subject himself.